a tribute to 40 years of national service through music and dance. And that's what the SAF Music and Drama Company did yesterday evening. They staged a gala performance entitled 40 Stories Saluting NS Men in, appreciating, in Appreciation of Their Contributions to the Defense of the Nation. The stellar cast included local celebrities like Dick Lee, Jack Neal and Jeremy Monterio. Artists from the home team also joined in the performances. And joining us in studio are some of the old boys of the SAF Music and Drama Company or MDC filmmaker Jack Neal and singer Ray from local band Jack and Ray. Thanks for joining us yeah, this you're, evening. You're Jack, my new band member. Yeah, new band. <laughs> okay, Hi. Jack, yeah, you, let's start with you. Now, you, were po you, were, you joined as a regular serviceman mm -hmm. and posted to MDC 30 yeah. years ago. What was your role back then? Okay, uh, when I joined the Music and Drama Company, uh, I'm uh, actually an infantry officer. Okay. And uh, uh, in, in a very coincidence, and then uh, I met someone, and then they saw my uh, portfolio, everything. They asked me for interview. Mm -hmm. They say, "You interested to be a drama director?" I say, mm -hmm. "Yes, definitely. I love to." So from infantry officer, and then I change it to a uh, music drama career, drama director. And Ray, was your experience something the same? Did you have to go for an audition? Um, yeah, actually, um, for for me, um, I was a regular serviceman. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the school of uh, infantry specialist. Mm -hmm. And what happened there was I tore two knee ligaments and I downgraded. So I was, yeah. So I was doing, I was just, I was just hanging around and I wanted to do something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I went, I was just hanging around and I, and and they came to perform at my camp mm -hmm. and they announced that there were audition dates. And mm -hmm. I was never really like so big into music or trying music. So mm -hmm. I just went for an audition just for fun and mm -hmm. and I went in after that, pure just raw and you know trying to learn. Yeah, and 30 years ago, I mm. mean, you, you got to travel, right, mm. as part of uh, the uh, company, and it was mm. quite rare then, you know, um, what was your experience? Actually, uh, quite fun. Actually, we go overseas, and then, of course, we go around and observe, we learn things, and uh, we see how other people perform, because uh, during my time, you know, show business in Singapore is not so happening, <laughs> you know, and I think Music and Drama Company is the only one, so-called the professional full-time company. Mm. Besides, I think, uh, People Association. Mm -hmm. So we are the only company. And a lot of people actually join. So we need to send members go overseas and learn. Yeah. And, you know, after you joined and mm -hmm. then you set up your band and now you're a professional yeah. uh, you know, singer, how, how, so you think the company has the, you know, kick-started your uh, professional career? Yeah, I mean, um, definitely when I, when I first joined the music scene, I was actually brought in by a friend um, who was, wasn't Jack at that time, um, <laughs> Jack Ho. But um, yeah, who wasn't Jack at that time and he, he actually met him in the music and drama company. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the musicians that I know now mm -hmm. and I work with or I've networked with were all from my batch around my, my time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it gave us a kickstart and, you know, of course, gave us a lot of exposure and experience, I guess, performing experience. That's, that was the main key for me. Yeah. Now, Jack, you, you know, you took part in the 40th uh, anniversary, yes. you know, and um, so comparing now and then, you know, what, <laughs> what's your experience? Okay, I, I think um, a, lot of, a lot of changes. Yes. Uh, I, think, I remember during our time, you know, our mm. band is a big band. Mm -hmm. It's a big band. Now it's a smaller band. And, uh, but I think the performing star, uh, we used to perform outside, outdoor, mm -hmm. and I understand that now it's more indoor. Mm -hmm. You know, last time outdoor is like, if it rain and then we have to stop performing, remember? Yep, so yep, yep. now you got no more chance, you know? Yeah. It's all in all. Yeah. Most of the stages and all that indoor. Yeah. Like most of the army camps. And there. what's your experience like? How long have you been since you left? Uh... Wow, I left in '99, so uh, it's been a good, about good 14 years since I left. That's right. Um, and yeah, I mean, last time you know, yeah, we did have, we did. I mean, uh, we, previously we had a lot of outdoor shows and stuff like that. I mean, we still do that, mm -hmm. um, but I think now camps are, you know, they like when we do the Kong shows, for example. Yeah. Um, they're indoor. They got a nice air conditioning hall. You know, it's, it's comfortable. <laughs> now, Jack, your showbiz career, mm. um, and uh, you made uh, Boys to Men, yeah. you know, a uh, very popular NS-themed uh, film. Uh, mm. How much of it was drawn from your personal experience? Okay, so frankly speaking, that was uh, from the day I joined Army, when I, I was the officer cadet. During my officer cadet training, actually, I got a lot of inspiration. And at that time also, because uh, uh, another country has got this movie called uh, Pao Gao Panjang, it's, it's a... Uh, good afternoon, sir. Some, something like that, you mm -hmm. know. So this this movie is also about the military, about recruit training, and uh, I enjoy it so much. And I say that we have a national service too, and we should have our own uh, uh, recruit movie. And I waited so long, 
You know, and uh, of course, I, uh, we, we saw Army Days, mm -hmm. yes. and after Army Days, and that's my, mm -hmm. and yeah. Okay. I watched it, it was great. I, I really enjoyed it. I watched oh. it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I mean, Did you it. identify with uh, some of the stories? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, I mean, we all have our recruit stories and stuff yeah. like yeah. that. And I think, you know, he, he had quite a good depiction of what happens mm -hmm. in the army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think Malaysia and the company actually give us a very good platform mm -hmm. to actually do a lot of experiment because we actually encourage like uh, uh, our members to actually produce items. Mm -hmm. Remember, you have to come out ideas that, <laughs> you know, how, how to conduct a skit or, or a dance item or, or a song items. So actually it's like, you know, team effort and then uh, because of this you know because of this kind of uh, a platform and actually we, we are so yeah so uh, and, professional now and the learning the learning process is literally like okay here you are we'll throw you in hot soup right now yeah. you know so <laughs> it's like you go in and a few days later you're jumping around on stage and you you learn to dance and chore uh, choreograph as well and you know like the, my first few attempts at, at, at choreographing something yeah uh, it used to be a total performance you know yeah. not only just like mm. singing dancing mm -hmm. acting mm -hmm. and holes and uh, sometimes you have to produce Everything, so, yeah. yeah. So you know, you're told like, okay, then you know, after you come up with some things, like, guys, you know, this is this is school standard. You cannot you cannot choreograph like this. You have to be better. We're like, okay, yes, yes, yes. We try, we try. You know, yeah. so yeah, a lot of learning, and I yeah. think yeah. And, and, well, it sounds amazing, like you yeah. both have a lot of good memories and a lot of fun at, at the at the Plenty. company. Well, yeah. if you had to just nail it down to one personal favorite memory, what would it be, Jack? Uh, I think when I come up a new new script. And then uh, when I follow uh, uh, the show on duty, because you know duty officer, so I, I observe. And when I see the kids are well received, you know, I'm, wow, you know, this is the kind of feeling. <laughs> sure, sure. And Ray? Um, wow, for me it'd be. I mean, the the people of course make the most memories there. But I do remember, like Jack said, you know, you always have the opportunity to try something new. Mm. So I remember that there was once one of the guys he used to sing a Chinese song called Peng Yu, mm -hmm. um, and. He did it so often that I actually kind of memorized the song in my head. <laughs> so one day he was not well. Oh, yes. So I was like, I can sing this song, you know, let me take over. You know? <laughs> so I did, I did. And after that, I became like a regular fixture at most army camps where I start singing Chinese songs for, for the recruits. And people apparently loved it. They think it's a circus act. So, uh, you know, I was like, okay, let's do this. You so know? you are now a bilingual singer, are you? Yes, I've actually, I now I've moved on to try to learn other languages too. But yeah, that, that was, it was fantastic. It was fun. Okay, yeah. Ray, Jack, thanks for joining us this evening. Thank thanks you. for having us. Thanks. And that was director Jack Neo and singer Ray reminiscing about their time spent in the SEF Music and Drama Company. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.